Hey guys, it's Kat on the Spiffy Life, and it's rant week, so I thought that I would just sit down and talk to you for some time and then cut out the part that doesn't make sense because I'm actually kind of pissed today. Uh, so yeah, it's rant week, and if you guys didn't know, recently there was the Supreme Court ruling that gay marriage was going to be legalized in all 50 states. And me being, like, gay teenager, yay, I was super excited about that. And I posted some stuff on social media, especially um, Tumblr about that. Now, I posted stuff on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, which is all people that I, like, explicitly know in real life. So they're all happy for me, like, yay. Um, they're just happy because it's, like, a big defining moment in life, I guess, for us. But I wrote something on Tumblr, and I know a lot of people that wrote something on Tumblr, wrote things on different social media platforms, and there was a response to some of these things said that were kind of very negative. And it's not even the straight-up homophobes who are like, ew, gay marriage, shoot them, go die in hell kind of like people that really didn't want this. There are some people on the internet that are basically saying that gay marriage should not have received all this big recognition as a huge problem in our world today. And they're basically saying that they don't want to acknowledge that this is a problem and be happy for it because there are things that are bigger. I heard people say things like we weren't things like racism and women's rights and all of these things still exist today. And I don't understand why the world is so focused on gay marriage and it shouldn't be as important when compared to other things. And I just honestly don't understand where somebody could come with this. Like, sure, we still have racism in this world. We still have, um, we don't have equal rights for men and women yet. We have all these things in this world that sucks. And I acknowledge that there are so many things that are awful and terrible and that, yeah, bullying, racism, all of these things that can all be summed up under the world of awful things about the world today. Like, yeah, this all sucks. I know there's bullying and <sighs> bullying on everything. Gender, sexuality, um, social class, uh, race, uh, weight even, weight, and physical appearance, and all these things. It's awful, and our world still exists today where that's a thing. But I don't understand why people aren't saying... They can't be happy for people who just accomplished this giant goal of gay marriage being legal because they're so hung up on the fact that there are so many other things that are wrong. And the thing is, we need to start somewhere. It can't just be all of a sudden, everything's perfect. I wish that we lived in a world where all of a sudden everything could be perfect. And that would be amazing and beautiful and I would cry and I would be so happy if all of a sudden I woke up and everything in our world was cured. But that's not going to happen. We need to face it. That's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen anytime soon, some of these things. So I say that we just need to take a step in the right direction. And we are taking a step in the right direction with gay marriage. And that is something that we are doing as America that we need and that should be acknowledged as something important. And that I am so sick of reading on social media. Yeah, well, racism still exists. So why is uh, why are we only focused on gay marriage? It's not that important. But honestly, it's important enough that people would deny people the basic human rights to get married. So obviously there is some point and some place in this world where it is important enough. And if it wasn't important enough, it wouldn't be like this. Anybody could get married anywhere. And I am so thankful and glad. You should have seen me. I was crying the day that this happened. I was crying and I was so excited because I can't even explain how lucky I am to grow up now in a place where this is going to be it. And I'm going to be able to get married to whoever the frick I want, wherever I want in the United States. And I'm going to be beautiful and happy and wear giant 
cupcake ball gowns and it's going to be amazing. But that doesn't mean it stops here. This is only the beginning of this fight, and we may have won a small portion of it, but that doesn't mean that all of a sudden gay rights just goes down the toilet because we got equal marriage. I can say firsthand that our world still needs to learn acceptance of, of all of these things, of the LGBTQ community, and that it's not going to end with gay rights and gay marriage rights. And just because this has happened doesn't mean that any other problem is less credible. This is just something that's important. And I would love to say that we live in a world where we could solve everything, but we're not. We don't live in that world. We don't live in that world. And right now I am so, so thankful and happy and just... I love the world right now. It, I am so thankful and happy and ecstatic that I live right now, right in this moment, where the world is just saying, yes, you can do this. Yes, and it's working. And I fight so often and on a regular basis for rights like this. And I am so passionate about everything about this because it's important to me. I, I want to be able to love who I love at such a young age too, 14. That's not a good, that's not such an old age, but it's old enough for me to know this is what I feel like. And this is what I know is right for me. And I'm so lucky to now live in the United States and the United States, which acknowledges that people can have that trust and that bond of marriage between two people of the same sex. And I know that Probably not everybody out there agrees with me, but this is just um, my opinion. Um, thanks for watching. I'm, yeah, I'm not the best at rants because I'm always really scared that I'm going to offend somebody, to be honest. But I really felt like this was something that needed to be said and something that needed to be heard. And I feel important and special. And I'm just like, thank you. I want you guys to understand how much... This is really important to me because I have that dream of big cupcake ball gowns and I'm going to kiss my wife and it's going to be amazing and I'm going to be beautiful and I'm going to have a wedding. So, <sighs> they <laughs> really, um, yeah. So, um, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and just remember that the comment section is really a place for you to share your thoughts and beliefs and go ahead and I will try to make sure to respond to all of them and if you are a gay teen out there like me and you just want to talk to somebody, I am always here for you and if you comment down there, I will always talk to everybody that's down there and I know that we don't get that many comments yet, but trust me, if you want to talk, I'm here for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.